18 Trendiest Rose Varieties to Plant in 2024. As spring opens slowly, a blossom at a time, take a look at some of the newest roses available around the country. Roses are more accessible and easier to grow than they used to be. Roses are no longer black spot on a stick. Breeders are creating disease-resistant roses that are easy to grow, don't need spraying, and cover themselves with a riot of blossoms that are pure eye candy, like all of these roses on the video. Cosmic Clouds This rose, bred by Christian Bedard at Weeks Roses, fits in with the rest of the roses. He's bred eye-catching blossoms, disease resistance, healthy and vigorous growth, and best of all, fragrance. This rose delivers on all counts. Even better, breeders have been making great strides in sun tolerance and color saturation in roses. These roses can keep their color in the sun instead of fading to an insipid mauve. Cosmic Cloud Sports ruffled blossoms in rich magenta pink, almost violet, with a unique white back and a delicious fruity fragrance. Its large blooms grow in clusters of 3 to 10. One cluster makes a lovely bouquet for your home, with long stems for cut flowers. This rose shakes off pests and diseases, and even does well in partial shade. Miss Manners Miss Manners is an attractive, compact Grandiflora rose. Her buds open into old-fashioned, English-style blossoms of up to 60 petals and a moderate, fruity fragrance. The flowers hold their color very nicely, too. Hardy to Zone 6, but can be grown in colder areas with winter protection. Miss Manners exhibits excellent resistance to powdery mildew, downy mildew, and rust. Under this demure exterior is a gal that's tough as nails. Quest for Zest Here's another Grandiflora with a swoon-worthy fragrance. Its large flowers, some single on a stem, others in clusters of two or three, make gorgeous bouquets that will fill your home with delicious, strong, lemon-citrus-slash-fruity fragrance. These zesty yellow flowers are overflowing with off-the-charts lemon fragrance, both indoors and out. This rose's upright growth habit and glossy, disease-resistant leaves make Quest for Zest a great new addition to your rose garden. This just might be the grand flora that you've been looking for. Make Me Blush Here's a marvelous new hybrid tea from Weeks Roses, bred by Tom Carruth. I always stop when I see Tom Carruth's name. He's hybridized over 150 sturdy eye-catching roses for decades and has created more All-American selection winners than any other rose breeder. Some of his creations include Playboy, Ebb Tide, Julia Child, Chihuly, Diamond Eyes, Sentimental. These roses combine stunning colors and forms with disease resistance, fragrance, and novelty, as many modern roses do. Benjamin Alexander It's not often that you'll see a hybrid musk rose on the new roses list, but one is worthy. Benjamin Alexander, introduced by Freedom Gardens, started as a volunteer seedling next to Chateau de Vere, 93, and turned into this beauty. So many visitors to the rose fields at Freedom Gardens asked, what is this rose, that they ended up propagating it. Benjamin Alexander, named for the first skier to represent Jamaica in the Olympics, blooms and flushes throughout the season and displays good winter hardiness. This rose is available only through Freedom Gardens in Ohio. Bring Me Sunshine This sunny English rose has fabulous color. It bears cupped rosettes of rich orange yellow that pale to lighter apricot yellow in the sun. Even the fragrances change from myrrh to soft notes of tea. Bring Me Sunshine grows into a healthy, upright shrub that has great disease resistance, and it absolutely covers itself with flowers. Elizabeth Naturally, this sweetly scented rose is named in honor of Queen Elizabeth II. Elizabeth bears clusters of full, apple-blossom pink flowers with a light golden center. The delicate-looking blooms fade to blush white as they age, creating a two-tone effect and adding to summer interest. The flowers are overflowing with a sweet fragrance with hints of lemon and old rose. Elizabeth blooms and flushes through the season, 
and her roses almost seem to glow in partial shade. She keeps blooming even without deadheading. This rose can be used anywhere, in containers, as a specimen, or as a hedge. It is hardy in exposed, windy areas and in partial shade. Flavorette Paired This adorable little rose is a small shrub that has old-fashioned blossoms that resemble some of the older Austin roses, but is lower maintenance and tasty. A proven winner's registered trademark color choice, registered trademark flowering shrub. The Flavorette Paired Rose covers itself with delicate white flowers with a pink blush. The petals are edible, as all rose petals are, but most rose petals aren't tasty. This rose's petals have a sweet pear flavor and a lush, soft texture. Add these petals to salads, use them to flavor sugar, make jam or jelly, add them to desserts and tea for a lovely but tasty garnish. This rose will be at home in containers, adding a tall central element to the arrangement and looks great in the landscape. Add it to your edible landscape, vegetable garden, or herb garden. The semi-double flowers are born profusely on a cheerful, healthy plant that's easy to grow. Flavorette Honey Apricot. The breeders from Fino Gino Roses really put their money where their mouth is when it came to these two Flavorette roses. They enlisted chefs from top restaurants in Europe to choose the best tasting and most beautiful rose varieties out of a pool of 100 edible rose candidates. Both the honey apricot and paired roses ranked in the top nine. This proven winner's color choice rose covers itself with rich edible orange and yellow flowers, all bearing silky petals with a sweet flavor of honey and apricots. Honey apricot petals will pair especially well with chocolates and make a stunning topping for cakes, cookies, and cupcakes. Add them to fruit dishes or summer salads.